Hi, this is Leila Torres of OrigamiSpirit.com. Today we are going to be having fun folding this origami nail polish. We can remove the cap, polish our nails and put it back. To make the jar as well as the cap, we need a piece of paper that is 2 inches by 6 inches or 5 centimeters by 15 centimeters. The proportion is 1 by 3. Let's take a piece of um, origami paper, 6 by 6 inches, and divide it in 3 parts. To do that, we need to roll it and make the shape of an S with the border and adjust it back and forth and Once we have pinch mark the thirds, we fold all the way through both sides. Now we cut through that fold. We have our square of paper divided in three pieces. We are going to use only two, but the third one we can use as a guide. For the demonstration, I will be using paper which is a little larger, but the proportion is the same, one by three. The piece on the left, the third part of the square, is going to be our guide to make a couple of folds. So we turn these other two pieces to the white side and we align this side with this edge. And bring this edge over to a line here. Open and we repeat with this piece of paper. Now we can put this away. The following steps apply for both the bottle and the cup. We will apply these folds to both pieces of paper. So we have this valet fold. We want to create another fold that is going to be right next to it and it's going to be a mountain fold. To do that we are going to make sure that our paper is oriented that way, this short side to the right, this uh, longer side to the left. We fold it over and we are going to create a pinch mark here by bringing this edge over to this corner. We have that first pinch mark, now we are going to roll the paper and bring it so that that matches the corner again and we create a second pinch mark. Now we roll the paper once more, match the mark with the corner, make a third mark, and now we bring that one Again, one last time, matching, and we have this, which we are going to be folding all the way across, but we hold it from here, fold it to the back, make sure that the two pieces of paper align, and set. Now we open, we have a valley fold and a mountain fold. We are going to let it be pleated, like so. 
Now we take the piece to make the cap and we are going to repeat the process. We should have two pieces of paper folded in the same manner. We will fold the bottle first. We make a pinch mark here. We unfold the pleat for a moment. And then we can set our pleat again. Now we are going to bring this edge over to align with that mark that we already have here. Notice that it matches exactly with the end of the pleat behind. We are going to bring this left section to the center. And we bring just this area. This we are going to leave it alone for the moment. And we set the mark. Now we have this split here. We are going to push from this over and let it flatten. creating this new fold that finishes on this corner and also creating this fold. We rotate the paper and repeat on this side. We are going to insert these corners inside some packets very like little packets that we have here. Now we are going to rotate and we are going to make a small fold diagonally here. We can bring back our helper paper and we can align it in here and in here and bring the corner up. This can be done by eye but if we want to be precise we can use our guiding paper. And same on this corner. At this point we can just by eye fold it. Now we are going to be folding this edge over so that it aligns with these edges. Unfold and we are going to reverse that fold so we go to the back. Unfold we pinch that fold, grab it, and bring it to those edges again. A new fold is made. The lower fold is a mountain and the upper fold is a valley. And that's it. We have the jar finished. Now we will fold the cup. We have this pleat here the same way, but we are going to leave it open for the moment. Now we are going to mark a line in this area, only in the central area. 
by bringing this border to the opposite. Pinch mark in that area and open. Now we are going to bring the left border over to align with this mountain fold. Then we are going to open that fold and reverse it. So we bring it to the back following the fold that we just made. Now we are going to bring this edge over to match the center. Rotate and repeat. Now we have an existing fold here. We are going to be folding to the right and we have an existing fold here. We are going to follow that to come back and create a pleat. Now we're going to bring this point in Repeat here. Unfold. And we're going to bring this edge over to the center. And as we do that, we're going to allow this to open And flatten. So we have this. Rotate the paper and repeat. Now we are going to calculate by eye about a third of this distance from here to here, one third, one, two, three, so at one third, we are going to fold and fold back, making a little pleat again. And we repeat the process as we did here. Fold these corners in. They are very thick at this point. Unfold. And bring this edge to the center. making exactly the same as we did before here. This edge to the center. And we have narrowed this part. Now we turn it over now we have the two pieces all done. We locate this packet here. Notice this gap here. 
to make the cap fit better, we can place our fingers here, pull apart the layers, and make the cap a little wider. And we have our cap. Now we can play a little bit and polish our fingernails. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to this channel and receive alerts for new video tutorials. This is Leila Torres of OrigamiSpirit.com.